guitar for a little while then you've probably heard of Warmoth guitar parts. Maybe you needed to replace the neck on your Strat, maybe you saw an ad for them, maybe you saw somebody on YouTube playing one. Or like me, maybe you're really particular about the guitars that you play and you want the best and you want your specs to be exactly how you want them. helped me buy my first Stratocaster. I absolutely loved that guitar and I played it into the ground. I played so often and so hard that I wore through the frets on that guitar very quickly. It was maybe six months and I was in high school. I didn't have that much money. So I went online and learned that this is a pretty normal thing. Frets wear out on guitars. So I decided that I needed a refret. I looked it up, found some prices in the area and realized as a high school student there was no way I was ever going to be able to pay for that. I understand that refretting an instrument is extremely difficult and that luthiers are probably underpaid for how much it goes into it, but after a quick Google search, I realized that I could just buy a whole new neck for the guitar. In fact, I could buy two or three necks for the same price. my first Strat neck. Then I discovered Unofficial Warmoth, their forum online, and after reading I decided to build my own guitar. I'll save you the details of the various builds that I've made in the past, but ultimately I'm now playing a Warmoth 7 8 S style guitar, and here are the specs. <laughs> The guitar has a 7 8 size alder body routed for three single coil pickups. The reason I picked this body is because it was only three pounds and two ounces, and I play a lot of gigs. Sometimes your back starts to hurt, and a lighter guitar really helps. It has a Wilkinson VSVG bridge, gold, a set of Fender Hot Noiseless pickups. I painted it coral pink and chose a parchment pickguard. The neck is a maple back with a maple fretboard. The tuners are Schaller locking tuners, and the neck has 24 stainless steel jumbo frets. The neck carve is the real reason why I keep buying Warmoth parts. I play with my thumb over the top of the neck, and my hands are moderately large. I find that the SRV neck carve, with its asymmetrical profile, fits my hand perfectly. I can play four sets a night and not get tired. <laughs> This guitar is my number one. It replaced a nearly identically spec guitar, and unless somebody offers me a pretty lucrative endorsement deal, I'll probably keep playing this one and have it as my number one for a really long time. What kind of custom specs do you need on a guitar? Let me know in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. I'm planning to release content more often, and your support really means a lot. Thanks. Thank you.